Hi you guys, how are you? So yesterday I shared with you that I wanted to uh, read a specific passage in the Bible and actually study it this entire week and then at the end of the week give you an opportunity to give your life to Jesus. I want to start by reading the story to you. It is a short story, beautiful story. There's so many stories, by the way, that we can go to in the Bible, but I chose this one because I felt that that's the one that God gave me to share with you. So um, the story is found in Mark chapter 8, verse 22. It says, They came to Bethsaida, and some people brought a blind man and begged Jesus to touch him. He took the blind man by the hand and led him outside the village. When he had spit on the man's eyes and put his eyes, his hands on him, Jesus asked, do you see anything? He looked up and said, I see people, but they look like trees walking around. Once more, Jesus put his hands on the man's eyes. Then his eyes were opened, his sight was restored, and he saw everything clearly. I want to share with you uh, multiple points, but I'll start with the first point uh, this week that we're going, this day that we're going to look at. The first point is found in the very first sentence. It says that some people brought a blind man and begged Jesus to touch him. You guys, you know, in life, we will never be able to achieve anything without people. That's just the truth. If you choose to stay alone and to be in your own corner and to not um, enjoy community, you will fail. We always need other people in our lives. And in this passage, it says that some people brought a blind man to Jesus. This guy was blind and could not take himself to Jesus, right? So my question to you today is, who are you bringing to Jesus. If you have already given your life to Jesus, then you must be bringing other people to Jesus because you were brought to Jesus by someone else, you know? So people are always either bringing someone to Jesus or they're being the ones who are being carried on a mat to Jesus because they're blind. When we're talking about blindness, we're not only talking about blind, like as in I cannot see, but we're talking about spiritually blind. We're talking about people who are lost, who do not know Jesus, and who are looking around, looking at, at porn to find their fulfillment, looking at sleeping with people around, looking at drugs to find their fulfillment, alcohol to find their fulfillment, gossiping and bringing other people down to find their fulfillment, you know? They're looking all around. People are dying every day. Maybe you're one of them. Maybe you are addicted to things and trying to fill your heart with different things. But let me tell you today that you need to come to Jesus. You need to come to Jesus because he's the only one who will be able to lead you and heal you and bring that fulfillment, that emptiness that you have inside of you. He will be the only one who is willing and able and able to truly change your life. Maybe you have been abused. Maybe you have been uh, from foster care to foster care. Maybe um, no one really ever looked at you when you were a child and told you how beautiful and how awesome you are. But let me tell you today that if you come to Jesus, if you come to Jesus, if you would only come to Jesus with your blindness, with your brokenness, he will heal you. He will give you forgiveness. He will give you a joy that you will never be able to find anywhere else. You guys, I told you my story. I looked for other things, but nothing, nothing on earth was able, no club, no man, nothing was ever able to fulfill me and give me the joy that I have today in Jesus. So let me invite you today to give your life to Jesus. He loves you. He cares for you.